after logging into the statistics site, you'll see the global dashboard. This will show you a bird's eye view of all of your campaigns. A campaign can represent a different direct mail program, trade show, event handouts, different brochures, etc. using our technology. And you can see right away how all of your campaigns are doing and which ones are working the most. Now to see a more detailed report, just click on the campaign. I'll just click on the first one here. And uh, this is the Christmas card mail that we just sent out. And what loads up is a more detailed dashboard for this campaign. If you look at this box here in the top left, this shows the number of visitors generated by our campaign. Since we did a direct mail program, this is the number of people that responded. And in our card, we had three ways to respond by a web USB device that plugs into a PC or Mac, a QR code, and we also printed a URL address on the back just in case someone needed to key it in. So we can tell that 97 people plugged in the USB device, 12 people used the QR code on a mobile device, and one poor soul actually for some reason typed it in manually. Now we had 300 recipients, so if you add up the total number, uh, we're showing about a 40% response rate, which is very good for a direct mail campaign. The dashboard also shows a nice graph of visits within the past couple of days and a region on a world map which shows the visitors based on uh, the region that they're from and it shows the darkest regions being the most visits and you can move your mouse over to show uh, more of a detailed re result. So in US we had 87 visits which is 79% of the campaign and 18 visits which is 16%. Another interesting piece of viable information is the operating system, which is shown in this box here, and the visitor browsers. And the reason why this is important is so that you can better optimize your website and your campaign to your site's viewers. For example, if we look at the operating system, we'll see that most of our visitors, the majority, is from a Windows-based platform. But there are about one-third of our visitors on a Mac platform. So if a site wasn't Mac optimized, then we would have a problem in maybe alienating one third of our visitor base. Also, we can see that there are a few iPhones that were used as well. So if we had, for example, a campaign that had a high number of visits from an iPhone or mobile platform, we would probably create a web strategy that caters more towards a web mobile device uh, for our next campaign. The iPhone number also makes sense because there are 11 iPhone visits here and if you look at the above in the QR code section there are 12 visits here and that means probably 11 people use an iPhone to scan a QR code whereas there was another one person that used another mobile device uh, that uh, scanned the QR code and this is all in in important information for an integrated digital campaign. Now if you scroll down a little bit Another interesting statistic is the visits by server time and the reason why this is important is because it shows us when our customers are engaging with our website from our direct mail piece. And if we look closely on the graph, on this campaign it shows that around noontime or lunchtime is the highest amount of visits. And how we use this information is this is when we actually make the most phone calls or the most emails because what better time to contact our customers when they're actually thinking about us. Now before I finish this video, there's one more thing I just wanted to show you and to do that let's go back to the global dashboard. Now I showed this page at the beginning of this video but I also wanted to end with this as it can be the most important out of all your statistics that I've shown. And as mentioned earlier, this shows you a global view or a bird's eye view of all of your campaigns. And again, a campaign can be different things. So let's pretend this is a direct mail program that you sent out to a list of prospects. And this is a brochure that you handed out at a recent trade show. And this is a big networking event that your sales staff handed out a web business card. And you can easily compare how each of these campaigns are doing in relation to each other. You may discover that instead of spending a large sum of money on a trade show booth, it may be better spent on a good direct mail campaign. Or maybe you'll find that networking events bring in the most return on investment, so perhaps you should focus your efforts finding out more networking opportunities. And that's powerful statistics that we can all definitely use.